name's John Foster and after an absence of 34 years out of the uh, hobby of Tamiya I thought I decided to uh, come back in to this wonderful hobby and uh, see what I've been missing. I remember the years of 1985 where I had a uh, Hornet, a Tamiya Hornet, um, where we used to go around and bash around with our friends in the playground. Uh, such a great time then and I uh, thought I just thought I'd come back into the hobby here. So um, just thought I wanted to let you know um, what I've purchased. I've purchased an Audi Quattro on the TT02 chassis. Um, thought this is a good beginnings place to come back into the hobby. And as you can see on here, uh, there's an array of parts here. Um, I'm not going to lie, um, I have made a little start already, um, but I'll let you know in a moment. Just want to make a shout out for a couple of guys on the YouTube where I've been doing some research. Um, so, uh, Nanny RC over there in Milan. Hi. Um, inspiration. Um, I'm really impressed with your videos of how to's and uh, hop ups and tips and tricks. Invaluable information there and uh, sort of kind of miss everything that I've been uh, used to when I was a child. And uh, yeah, great. Great guy, great guy. I had a few chats there, so I thought I'd give you a shout out. Um, if you go over to his uh, Nanny RC on YouTube, subscribe because you uh, you'll pick up a wealth of information there. So lots of lots of tips. Uh, also, Mark uh, Brennan, yeah, Mark Brennan, you uh, again been watching some of your TTO2s and uh, watching some of your videos again on the same chassis. Amazing guys, uh, amazing videos, amazing touches. Uh, a couple of other shout outs uh, to Pete Wiley uh, and Rob Brennan. Been watching your videos as well on YouTube and again, valuable information. So uh, thank you guys for inspiring me to come back into the hobby. Um, I am a beginner, um, although I have had Tamiya's in the past. So I thought I'd do a beginner's journey. Um, I have started, like I said, um, I have been into the kit already and I've started to do the painting. Um, here you'll see that uh, I've uh, painted on the inside uh, in white, done the spray. You see the masking of the windows, as you can see. Uh, I did spray the black from the inside. Uh, I masked all along here. I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera. Um, hopefully so. Um, so, looking to see, perhaps might back that in silver just to um, cut out some of this transparency. Uh, being in lockdown, we've had a few troubles getting hold of paint. Um, the Tamiya paint, I've had lots of trouble. Um, this is the Core RC polycarbonate paint. It's done a good job, good coverage, so good shout there. A um, couple of shout out to some suppliers uh, while we've been in this uh, COVID-19 lockdown. A couple of shout outs to Model Sport UK. Fantastic, you've got the kit here with the array of options that I had as well. Um, also to um, RC bearings. Um, yeah, I'm amazed that Tamiya still do these. After 34 years out of the hobby, they still have these bushings. Wow, guys, I think it's time for an upgrade on the kit, Tamiya. Um, so, RC bearings, yeah, they've done some good jobs there. Uh, replacing those with those. Uh, these are gonna be stored. Um, I've also done a few hop-ups. Um, been over to RC Mart from uh, China there, um, managed to get myself a uh, bear, this is the uh, 54574, this is a hop up part for the aluminium racing steering set, just to see if I can make the steering a little bit easier for a beginner like myself coming in, um, so I know sometimes the plastic parts can be a bit uh, wobbly. Um, and also, <coughs> I managed to get myself the uh, TTO2 CVA Super Mini Shock Unit Set. Um, I know they have friction dampers in the kit. Um, no, they're not very good neither. So I uh, thought I'd pat myself again uh, the hop up parts there. So there's a couple hop up parts straight away onto the kit there just to make the kit a little bit more better. Um, so yeah, I'm literally looking forward to it. Um, I don't know, I've also sprayed the wheels. Um, so again, this is what I'm saying I've had the kit open, sprayed the wheels nice and white. Uh, on both sides there, um, they come up really well, and the discs, I've sprayed those uh, in silver, um, they come up pretty nice I thought, um, nice silver Tamiya FTS 05 for the silver, uh, and the 
little wing mirrors. Don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Uh, I've actually sprayed those black already. Um, there's uh, lots of there. There's also the wing. Um, now Tammy comes in white already, the wing. Um, so, going to see how it turns out with the body. Um, you know, with the, uh, with the cellophane off, the protective cellophane, because that sits on the back. I don't know whether to respray that on a white. I may leave it, I don't know. I'll get a bit closer to the time um, when we've done the kit build. Um, I'm not going to go out and do uh, like an unboxing and unveiling. Nanny RC, Mark Bryan, those guys there, if you YouTube those guys, they've got an intensive amount of information about unboxing and step by step builds. They are invaluable. So, um, but I just thought I'd give you a quick shout out and um, hello from me, a newbie, newbie to the U channel, YouTube channel, and newbie back into the Tamiya world. I'm just going to give you a little close up of the kit components there for all you beginners out there. What you can see, this is a really, really good kit uh, for you to start off with. I'm going to give you a close up. So again on this side, as you can see, uh, the tyres inside here, you get the screw parts, A, B, C, torque tune motor, various components for the differentials here. These are my hop-up parts that I purchased, bearings from RC bearings, and these were for, from uh, RC Mart. As you can see there, uh, fantastic, oh, this is Fantastic decal set, the manual for the actual chassis, manual for the body, then you've got uh, your light cluster and the light buckets for going inside the body, the rear wing. For the lights you also have the, uh, I don't know if you can pick those up on the camera, you also have the uh, glazing units that go on the front of the lights. I said here, I've got the wheels and the discs, the wing mirrors, a bumper, there's the main chassis, and then your various plastic parts that build up the chassis and attach to the chassis, draft shaft units, prop shaft, etc. Uh, I understand as well that to make this a wider, slightly wider car, um, you need that the um, C5 or C6, sorry C6s that go here. Um, so I'm going to source those and make the the rear end of the car a little bit wider. And you've got various chassis, box art, wonderful box art again, as you can see, brilliant job that Tamiya do with their boxing. Uh, and this is this electronic speed controller here, in this packet. So um, again, I'm going to reveal that another time. This is uh, rather good. Um, used to have a mechanical speed controller in my days. Um, used to stick on open throttle sometimes when the battery got low and uh, the model used to take off and uh, you used to go chasing after it. But uh, here they have a fail-safe system on here and programmable. Lots of details, uh, lots of manuals inside as you can see. Lots of manuals so you can have and read up to set things up. So uh, very much looking forward to getting back into this and, uh, and, I say, and I'll be completing the body. And I say this is a close up of the body that I've done so far. And as you can see, that's been sprayed black along the front there. Um, you can see all the uh, lights have been um, decoed out along with the window mask that Tamiya give you. Spend the time, and it's been painted white so far. Um, amazing um, what they do. Um, and this is really, really good. Happy with, happy with the paint. Take your time. Um, it's taken me, I would say, a good, so far a good eight hours just doing the body, the wheels and the brake discs. It's taken me a good eight hours so far on there. Um, just taking my time and enjoying it. Um, masking off this front section, masking off in, from inside to do all this. So you paint the black first, um, then take all the masking off and leaving the window masks and then you paint the white but uh, pop yourself across to those uh, guys that have already done how-to videos um, they will t they will show you how to do that in depth they've uh, 
I don't need to go and uh, over, overshadow what they've already done. I've learned a lot from those guys, um, and they can go from there. Um, I'll see you next time.